Hey guys, Josephine here. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to share a really exciting update with you guys. Our Transformer Table 3.0 has finally arrived. We ordered it from Kickstarter in October 2019, and it was supposed to come December 2019. <laughs> Today's April 8th, 2021. <laughs> it came a whole year and four months late, and I thought waiting for my baby was a long wait. So today, I wanted to do a special unboxing and first impression video for you guys since let's see if this table's even worth it. It's been so long. Let's see, so it came in four boxes. Uh, we got the table obviously, and it came with a free coffee table as our Kickstarter promotion or pledge. Yeah, our Kickstarter pledge, um, an extendable bench and extendable panels. And we're supposed to also get some Kickstarter stretch goals because uh, they were making so much money from it and I think it was supposed to be like a cutting board, coasters, and maybe something else. I don't even remember because it's been so long. Let's see if they even packed it in the boxes. So let's get right to it. All right, this is my husband Isaiah over here. Hey guys. We're gonna get started with the coffee table. Let's do this. All right, it says fragile and it says not to use a box cutter. So... Here's the scissors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use it anyway to be careful, but I'll listen to the wife. <laughs> Smells like wood. Smells like wood. Got the instructions. Comes in a nice plastic bag. We got mahogany so far. It looks and feels pretty nice. Yeah, let's take a look at this. This doesn't look like it'll be too hard to assemble. Take that out. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Here's the coffee table. It's a pretty solid piece of wood. Very well made. And it's probably one of the easiest pieces of furniture I've ever built. There were only five, six, six pieces to put together. And I think about 10 screws. And it was just very quick. Um, so here it is. It's just a little rectangle and there's slots underneath where you store the extra table panels or table leaves. All right, next we're going to open the box of the extendable table panels. They're going to slip right into the coffee table. So let's see how well that works out. All right, here's what one panel looks like. This is really heavy. So it has these hinges that you use to, oof, it's hard, to connect the different pieces. We'll figure out how that works later when we actually open the table. Yep, yeah, I'm guessing the rest of the box looks just like this. Ah, awkward. There it goes. Hey guys, just want to give you guys a quick update. We noticed this chip in here when we unboxed it. And the other thing is the smell of the finish maybe smells really strong. So I uh, highly recommend if you have some kind of air purifier or something to run it overnight or something. Or open all your windows. Or open all your windows. Okay, let's see how this panel fits in the coffee table. All right, put it on the top. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. You don't want to scrape the top off. Oh, okay, 
it just locks into place. Oh, nice. Pretty nice. Okay. Definitely a two percent job though. Let's let's take it out. Okay. I'll go on this side. Yeah, go on the other side. You probably gotta lift it. Okay, ready? Yep. Lift it. Uh you keep guiding it? Yeah, Should I come it. back to the other side? Yeah. Yeah, you probably definitely wanna put your hand in the middle so it doesn't sink down. Oh wait, watch the top, watch the top. Okay, thank you. Okay, so oh. yeah, definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so it's a good design, but you definitely have to be really careful when you take it in and out, or you risk scratching the top. So these things probably gonna be super heavy once all the panels are in. Yeah. Here is the coffee table with all five panels in it. It looks a lot better when the panels are in there, actually, compared to when the coffee table is bare and empty by itself. All right, next up is the extendable bench. This box is actually surprisingly heavy. It's the heaviest of all four boxes. Let's see what this bench looks like. Oh no, this is the bench. I think the panels are in the bench. Hmm. Let's open it right here. Give me the box cutter. Okay. How should we do this? Should we just lift it? Do you think? It's so heavy though. Is there an extending side or can it both extend? <laughs> or am I just weak? What do you mean? No, I'm pretty sure this makes sense to try. Oh, I just wasn't doing anything. <laughs> we just pulled the bench apart and each panel is wrapped individually in this, um, what's this material called? You know, this stuff. And <laughs> this thing has it's no assembly required, but it's a pain to unbox. There's so many styrofoam pieces and wrapping and it's just going to be a mess to clean up. But this thing is super heavy and super sturdy and I do love how the panels are stored directly in the bench. There you go. Each individual panel is not that heavy. But this is where you have to be careful. I think that this is what you can scratch it. Yeah. Well, should we keep these to <laughs> for storage? We probably should actually. Hmm. Yeah, we probably should just keep them wrapped up when we stick it back in. Oh man, I already ripped apart so many of these. <laughs> Whoops! Oh boy, it does go awfully long. <laughs> man, we had to clean all this up before baby wakes up in the morning. <laughs> Here's the assembled bench. It is ridiculously long, especially in our space. We probably won't be using it like in this size very often. Um, and when you sit on it, it actually doesn't feel very stable right here in like these middle sections in between the edges and the center. Um, but we don't have enough people here to test it out. So give you an update in the future if we ever have this bench filled up and see how well, it actually supports all the weight. Oh yeah, there are also a couple of little scratches on two of the panels. There's one right here. And where is that? One right over here. One right over here. They're pretty small, but still. I don't like scratches on my new furniture. Here's what the bench looks like fully fold up.
perfect for one person and it's supposed to fit under the table perfectly. So we'll see. Now we're finally going to unbox the table. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, the table. Let's see how this goes. I think it's probably going to be like the benches packaging where it's impossible to take out without ripping the box apart. I can't even <laughs> get my scissors in here right now. It's been <laughs> quite a few hours already and I'm exhausted if you can't tell. <laughs> oh, here you did. <laughs> and this box was broken when it came. Did we show that already? I don't remember. Oh, hey. My bag. I wonder if these are the bonuses. Nice. Okay. Nice. A little cutting board. A. What is this? Oh, is it a? Wow, I don't have words right now. The thing you put under pants. Pot holder. Oh, pot a pot holder. holder. And a stack of five coasters. That's a weird number. It's usually an even number. Yeah. Okay, I'm not complaining. And some special transformer mask. Ooh. Ooh, that was not listed as a bonus. <laughs> COVID special. COVID special. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Look, look. Here's the cutting board. It looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Be good for maybe for some vegetables. And here's the pot holder. Coasters. And coasters. And don't forget the special COVID mask. Here's the final product. It looks pretty good. I just don't know where it'll fit in our house. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna work out for Thanksgiving, Christmas. We have a huge family and growing. So this is a great addition to our family. I just wish we could try it out sooner rather than later. We'll let you know what it's like when we actually get to test it. Yeah. So we're probably gonna just keep it folded up and stuck in that little corner for now and then just pull it out when we need it. Cool, well thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy your table too if you get one. Bye!